Hey, I was a busy, busy, busy little girl today. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning. Happy April 1st. Happy April 1st, everybody. Well, I was went to visit family over the weekend. I hope you guys all had a great Easter holiday weekend. Um, I had a really good, nice weekend visiting with family. I didn't get on. I really didn't do much on my phone. I didn't look. I, I didn't do a lot, but I did have some eBay sales. Oh, and I didn't film anything. I didn't film. I just wanted to just be present with my family. Um, and it was a really great day. And I hope you guys had a great day too. But I had a lot of sales on eBay over the weekend. For me, it seems like the holidays are when people are buying. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if people are like, they're sitting at their family gathering and they're bored and they're scrolling on eBay. But I tend to do pretty well. And in fact, the days that we've had live sales on a holiday weekend tend to do have done pretty better too. So I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm just, in my mind, I'm thinking maybe people are bored <laughs> and they're scrolling on eBay. But I had... A lot of sales over the weekend. So let's pull those now. And I'm going to do my best to remember them all. Because I looked. I sold this little pin. This pin. Um, this Walt. Does, Walt Dad, Dad picked this up at a flea market. Walt's Legacy. With the Steamboat Willie. Little guy right there. This also sold along. To the same person. Oh, hi Lynn. <laughs> Lynn also bought this yeast spoon. I had that listed and the Danish whisk. So all these, these three things, I will combine shipping on eBay. Uh, actually, these things were shipped. I think they all, they might have all shipped for free. I don't know. I don't, I think these did and I can't remember. But anyway, you'll see it on the screen. But those are, those all sold. This big guy back here, not you, Monchichi. Let's touch you, Monchichi. So maybe you will sell some of these games. Tantrics. Let's let's touch the stuff because sometimes that. And let's touch you. Let's touch you. I've had you for a long time. Remember cocktail? Remember that people with blah, 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 and like they do tricks and stuff. This is for you to practice. So if you need to practice being a Tom Cruise in cocktail, I got your little practice dealy there. This guy. Come on. I got to get you with one hand. Scooch. Scooch, little little panda. Look, he's got. This says panda, and it says yum yum. It's a little cookie jar, and it sold uh, marked Japan there on the bottom. So you finally sold Panda. We've had you for a little while, too. You're going to go away to your new home. And then, you didn't. Let's touch you, though. <sighs> let's touch you. I did list this whole Howard Bird. You sold. You are a great sale. I might have stood up and did a little dance when you sold. I hate to see you go. Because I love you, you were mine, but it's time, June Angel. Or, well, you're a devil, not an angel. But you sold, we're going to be very, we're going to lay, you, well, I'm going to set you right there. I'm not even going to lay you in the basket. That was a great sale there. Um, Mark's other car park sold, the gas cap, that sold. Uh, oh, Misty. Mm -hmm. <gasps> cocaine spoons they sold i sold three packs of them this might be i got a pack of 10 right here three lots of four one to four different to three different people two three so they, that was great that's 60 dollars right there and basically trash you know what I mean? Crazy to me. But those sold. So we've only got, we have two, two packs of four left. And then a lot, a pack of, a lot of 10. I sold all of the, sold all of the lots of eight. So those sold. And then, my goodness, let me look real quick because I'm thinking something else sold. I could be wrong. It was one more thing. This little bird. I tried selling this in a live sale a couple times and it didn't sell and it finally sold on eBay. I just thought it was neat. So you little bird, little chartreuse bird and your little salt and pepper shaker nest are going to your new home. 
So we are gonna take all of these over and get those ready to sh be shipped out. I also have to edit a video because we got home last night and I just didn't feel like editing it. So, whoo, so I have to edit um, that video. Another thing that I need to do, well, I'm not, I'm having a sale tomorrow, two sales tomorrow, a sale um, with Michael on Tuesday over on my YouTube channel and then at 5 p.m. You're, you're, this video is gonna go up at four. So the, you're, these things <laughs> are gonna be going for sale. Depending on when you're watching this, maybe in an hour, maybe it's already passed. I over prepared, which is good because typically I can, I, I think I got like 44 items listed for that you, you can see in the catalog on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. If you go into my sale on Tuesday, you can see the cattle, you can see the things that I'm going to be bringing. You can make pre bids. Pre bids are open now, folks. Pre-bids are open. If you see something that you like and you think, I don't know that I can be there or I just want it and I'm just going to throw it down right now, you can put in a pre-bid uh, on not just mine, on anybody's items in their catalog. So you can put in pre-bids, you can put in a max bid, and that means you can say, okay, I like this. I, I, I'm, I, the most I'm going to spend is $25 on it. And this, the way that the programming will work, it will automatically bid for you until it hits your limit and then it's done. And then it won't bid anymore for you. So that's pretty cool. Like if you think that, well, I would really like to, but I don't, I got something going on. I can't go to the sale or maybe I'm going to another sale or, you know, whatever. You can, that is an option. So that's really cool. And another thing on virtual anti marketplace, I will say, that I do, I'll pop it right there. And it's in the description too. I do have a code. So you, if whatever, if you make your first purchase, you enter in the code MISTY at checkout and you will get $5 credit. You'll get $5 credit on your first purchase. So take advantage of that. If you've not um, purchased anything, it's your first purchase, you can get $5. If you bought, I mean, I don't have anything listed for $5, but if somebody else had something listed for $5 and you had $5 credit, you'd get it for free. So that's pretty good too. So check that out. I will, um, there's the QR code right there. You can pause it, scan that on your phone, and then it'll take you immediately there. And, and at checkout, if you enter in the code MISTY, then you can get that $5 credit. So, and it, also, if you go on, you will see that you yourself, just you as a customer, if you go on to virtualantiquemarketplace.com in the very, very top right, it'll say, give five, get five, give five, click on that. You will get your own code. So you can say, Hey neighbor, have you heard of virtual antique marketplace? No. Well, listen, come here. I got a code. Let's give me your, let's go to there right now and you can use the code. And you can get $5 credit. And then when your neighbor uses that code and she gets $5 credit, she gets her credit, you get $5 credit. So, and it doesn't end. You can, you can, you can give a hundred people. I'm not going to do that math. Even though that's pretty easy math, I'm not going to do that math, but you, I'll put it on the screen. That's how much you'd get. Yeah, I'm not even going to, I'm not, don't, don't make fun of me. I'm not a math person. So anyway, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So check that out. And so I'm going to get those things shipped, take them to the post office. I've got to edit a video today and I have everything ready for my sales this week, but I need to, um, I need to film some content for the Misty show. I have got things lined up over there. So if you aren't subscribed to the Misty show, please do. Um, I, it's just a lot, it's just different kinds of content. I did put up, I did the Easter story reading. I just wanted to put it up on my main channel. I could have put it up on my second channel, but I, I wanted to put it up on my main channel. I know it wasn't anything reselling related. However, Anna Eckhart is also a reseller. So that was my way of, you know, promoting her book a little bit. And it's a really, really good book. So check that out. And if you missed the Easter video, I'll link it below. Maybe she'll, she'll give, let me read another book at another time and several people have said hey you should you should read books well you could but they're copyrighted so you really can't it's like music you can't play music in a video because it's copyrighted and somebody you know you don't want to get credit for somebody even if you don't monetize the video you can still get in trouble for it if you're a children's author 
I, listen, if you, someone out there, if you're watching my video and you're a children's author, let me know. I'd love to read your book. <laughs> I, I would love to. I, I love reading to children and I love being, some people have said that they had bought the book and they were going to, they were going to read it along with their child, with their grandchild. So that may, that means a lot to me. So, and all the child within, we're all children within. Also in a, a video last week, someone, people had commented, wait a minute, you saw something. Yes. I see figures in here, but not benevolent. It, Mr. Webb is the, per, the man who built this building back in the 1890s. He's not stuck here. He just comes back from time to time just to see how the place is doing. And, and you know, I say good morning to him every time I walk in the door. I say goodbye to him most times when I'm leaving. Um, and he's just a comforting presence to me. So he does make himself appear from like time to time. So I'll see shadows and figures, but it's not, I, it's a good, it's a good calming presence. So, and things have moved. And anyway, it's just kind of, it's not, I'm not spooked out by it. I'm really not. And someone would say, Ooh, you should do a ghost thing. No, I, that stirs up a lot of stuff. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm fine with the ones that are here. I don't want to bring any more in. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm fine with Mr. Webb um, coming in and checking out the place. All right. My arm is getting tired. So I'm going to set the phone down and I'm going to ship and then I'm going to start editing. But maybe I should, maybe we should do the affirmations. Let's do the affirmations first because I might need that. Okay, let me grab them. We're not going to sit down. We're going to stand. I hope that you don't mind that we stand because that's what we're going to do. I'm going to prop you up on my tape. Okay. There. I got to take this shirt off. Oh, look at my, look at my Elvis playing at the international t-shirt. Amazon. My bracelet's falling off. Amazon. They've got lots of choices of Elvis t-shirts. The one that I normally wear, that I've worn a lot, I thrifted. But <clears throat> you can't always find thrifted Elvis t-shirts because people want to keep them. And I don't blame them. This is April 1st. April Fool's Day. But it's not April Fool's Day as you're watching this anymore. So we're, I already, did, I already pulled a little April Fool's joke on you yesterday. In yesterday's video, so we won't do that today. All right, April 1st in our A Year of Positive Thinking, because we're trying to, you know, think positively every day. All right, affirmation warning. It's really short, so it won't be long. April 1st, this is happiness. How would you recognize happiness unless you knew what unhappiness felt like? It's hard to have one without the other. That's good because you know what? If you're having moments of being of unhappiness right now, you're feeling a lot of of um, like crummy feelings. Just know that happiness is right around the corner. It can be, it can be. Um, you know, sometimes you just gotta change your mindset. Sometimes you just gotta change a habit, and 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 you can and you can start. But you can also start by no negative self talk. And I'm working on that myself. All right, we're going to pick our cards from our affirmation morning mantras. I shuffled them. Let's see which one we're going to pick. They all look the same on the back. This one says, I have compassion for grumps. It's not easy to have a bad day and even harder to have a permanent, wait, it's not easy to have a bad day. And it's even harder to be a permanent poo poo head that's what this says don't be a permanent poo poo head if you're a permanent poo poo head people aren't going to want to be around you do you know what i mean if you are constantly like hey boy my life is crap thing after thing after thing always happens to me it's just a bunch of crap it's like that Saturday Night Live character. What was that? Debbie Downer? Nobody wants to be around her. So it's okay to have a bad day. I have them all the time. It is okay to be a grump. It is okay to be a poo-poo head. But don't make that your identity. If you make that your identity, then no one's going to want to be around you. You're going to be a drag. You want, you want people to feel, at least the way that I look at it, I want people to feel good after they've talked to me or after, I don't know, I just, 
or if you're just watching a video, I want you to feel like get a little chuckle. Maybe that's the first chuckle you've had in a while. I'm willing to make myself look like a fool in order to get you to feel good. And I think that there are a lot of people in your life that want that for you. So don't be a poo-poo head because nobody wants to be around that all the time. Don't be like that owl. My rant over. Okay, those were good. Affirmation over. They were very short. So short and sweet. And we like that. Oh, wait. Before I get started on something, hang on. I got to show you something. I got a new Liberace record. We went into Goodwill when we went to Anderson to visit family. It's not a very good Goodwill, and it really stinks in there. But I got a Liberace record that I didn't have. So I'm going to listen to that to this one this morning. Here's a quick tip. When you, when you look at records at the thrift store, make sure that the record matches the sleeve. Because I can't tell you how many times I bought a record and it wasn't the record that was on the thing. So kind of double check when you're at Goodwill. But that's all we bought was that record. And the records are $1.99 at that Goodwill. I remember the day when they were 99 cents. Not anymore. And we're going to try to go to some garage sales this weekend. It's garage sale season. And I always start out so positive and so, so amped up for garage sale season. And about a month through, I'm like, I hate garage sales. I can't find anything. So hopefully I'm not going to be a poo poo head when it comes to my garage sale season because we're going to have high hopes. Sorry, I got to get my bracelet back on. High hopes that it's going to be a good garage sale season and I can find records for a quarter. That's what I'd really like. Okay. Let's get started on our day. Oh. Before we do, I gotta give you a cheers. Cheers. Boop. Nespresso for the win. Tomorrow, Starbucks Tuesday. Thursday will be sweet cakes Thursday. And every day in between is either an Alani or it's an espresso. But well, it's caffeine in one way, shape, or form. Okay, let's let's get started on our day, shall we? All right. So I got all of that shipping done. I even got a few things listed on eBay. I got two videos edited, not just one, but two. And I'm gonna open up this and then I'm gonna film hopefully two more videos. It's gonna be busy, but we got stuff to do. But I'm feeling like I'm getting a lot of stuff done. And I wanna say too, I am sorry. Yesterday's video was, well, it was April Fool's Day. And I was a little stinker. And listen, I don't like to use clickbait titles. Sometimes, you know, you, you have to make them a little bit interesting because sometimes, you know, you want people to click on your videos, but you know, you need, you don't want them to be too click. Some people just really use a lot of clickbait. I don't like to do that a lot of times, but if there was ever a day to use a clickbait title, yesterday was the day. So I didn't mean to give you all a heart attack. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. So that was a little bit of a, of a, of a, Stinker move, and I'm sorry, but like I said, if there was any day to use a clickbait title, yesterday was the day. And I'm sorry for giving people somewhat heart attacks, but there was no ill intention behind it. It is just for fun. All right, so this box I got from Cut the Crap Organics. And I will link them below. I've done an unboxing with them before. They reached out to me again and they wanted to send me another box. I'm going to tell you, I am telling you the God, so God is my witness. I use this soap on my face every single morning. This is the soap that I use to wash my face with. Um, and it's, it, it smells really good. It's all organic. It's a lot of fun. So she sent me a deluxe box to do an unboxing with. They are based out of Idaho. She sent me this box and they do monthly. Oh my gosh. I can already smell it. Mmm. Okay. So this is the April deluxe lip and lather. I'm telling you what, the soap is legit. So this is a the Lips and Lather subscription box from Cut the Crap Organics. I will link them all below. But it says, I hope that you love it. Um, and you will get 10% off your first box if you use the code MISTY10. 
ring, and I'll put it in the description as well. Uh, thank you so much, Krista. This is, it's really, really good stuff, I'm telling you. So here is what the box looks like. Let me read the little description of the April Deluxe Lips and Lather. Our British neighbors across the pond, hello British neighbors, take their tea very seriously. It is a drink steeped in tradition and they just can't leave it alone. <laughs> they even have National Tea Day on April 21st. Tea in the garden soap is scented with, nat with a natural blend that combines notes of lemon tea leaves and rose and garden florals on a base of sugar. Green tea and honey lip balm contains green tea and matcha extracts, both of which are high in antioxidants that help protect the skin from environmental damage. Two bath tea bags will elevate... Ooh, I'm going to take a bath. Two bag... Tea bags will elevate your bathing experience with a soothing herbal fragrance. Just place one in a warm bath and let it steep as you soak. Foam, wait, green tea and rose botanical face wash is a delicacy scented or is a delicate, delicately, I can't say this word, delicately, that's the word, scented foaming wash that will leave your face clean but not feeling tight. Filled with peptides, plant extracts, hyaluronic acid, this green tea lip oil provides anti-aging benefits to your lips and over time will help you reduce fine lines and add fullness. Last in the deluxe box is a reduced fine lines. Wait, I read that already. Last in the deluxe box is a skin pampering green tea and clay face mask. It is a moisturizing mask that it easily rinses off, leaving your skin soft and supple. That's a fun word to say, supple. I hope you enjoy this tea-themed box that, and that it inspires you to try a new flavor of tea in honor of the Brits. This is just a grassroots effort. This is a small business. Um, so that is really, really good to support these small businesses. So this is just full of goodies. And I'm telling you what, I'm going to do that first. Because the soap, oh my gosh, it smells, oh my goodness, they're artisan soaps. Okay, I'm going to, well, let me just show it to you before I take it out and smell. Look at this. Those are little, that's a teapot and a teacup that's in the soap. So if you have a little soap, like for your bathroom, if you're just using it for your hands, I like it on my face, but you could put it on a little, um, like a wooden or bamboo, oh my gosh, that smells so good. A little bamboo tray. But look at the swirls and stuff. It almost felt like you could eat it. But you can see all of the things that are in, in it, you're cutting the crap. Hence their name. So ingredients, organic coconut oil, organic olive oil, organic palm oil, sweet almond oil, organic castor oil, or mica, natural fragrance. That smells beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. It's so, it's such good soap. I love using this soap on my face. I'm gonna stick this back in the bag. All right, so next in this little package here, so this is a face mask. Ooh, we're gonna give this a try. This is green tea and clay. Ooh, that's a green mask. We will look, we'll look so fun with our green face. Oh, that smells so good. And again, you know exactly what's in here. So this says it is French green clay, sweet almond oil, emulsifying wax. I think that's what that word says. Green tea, seed oil, shea butter, green tea extract, mica, uh, tea extract, tea with essential oil. So we're gonna give that a try on our face. Now they do have different packages, so this is the deluxe. I think the one that I got before um, is you get a soap and a lip balm. A soap and a lip balm. This is a green tea and honey lip balm. Oh, I wish you could smell, you can really, you can really smell the honey in that. I keep the one that I got in last, the one, the last one that I got next to my uh, nightstand and I put it on before I go to bed. 
And it is all sealed, so if you wanted to give it as a gift, you, you could. And then, this is the bath tea. I'm excited to use this. I love taking a bath. Oh my, that smells so good. And I like that it's all contained in this bag and it doesn't get messy. I've taken like a tea leaf bag before and you have to clean it up afterwards. Oh my, that smell, smell it. Can you smell it? That smells so good. Oh my, I feel like it's waking up my senses. Steep your bath for relaxing herbal soak. Chamomile, flowers, rose petals, spearmint leaf. That's what I smell as a spearmint. Spearmint, rosemary leaf, and juniper berries. That's it. That's all that's in it. We're none of the crap. Oh, man, oh, man, that smells good. I might have to take me a bath tonight. And then we've also gotten, this is the deluxe. We have a facial cleanser. Uh, green tea and rose foaming facial cleanser. We'll use this tonight too. Oh, that smells good. Well, you know, it doesn't have a, this doesn't have like a high fragrance, which is good because I think that a lot of people may not like a, a big fragrance on your face, you know, before you're washing your makeup off at night. And then this is lip treatment oil. So let's try that. It's on like, oh, I thought it was a little roller ball, but it's a little, oh, wow. I don't know if I should put this on my lips right now. We'll try to, a little swatch on our hand. See, it has a very, 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 very light, light scent. So this would be good, like when you you take your bath, you wash your face, you put on your stuff on your face, you put on your oil. That's great. Well, thank you so much to Cut the Crap Organics. And I will link all of their information in the description. And don't forget that you'll get, if you do want to place an order, you'll get 10% off of your first box. You don't have to sign up for a subscription. I'm pretty sure that you can buy things, you know, a la carte and just add things to your cart if you just want to get a couple of the things. But I get asked a lot, what, what do you use on your face? And I use this soap. Cut the Crap Organic Soap is my go-to every day. I keep it in the shower with me, and I use it on my face. I absolutely love it. But thank you for sending this to me, guys. Cut the Crap Organics. This is the lipstick and lather box. And everything will be linked down in the description down below if you want to give them a try. This fell out. This goes to the mask. So you can scoop that out. You can scoop that little the mask out with your with your with this little scoop. That was in the tissue paper, but I'm gonna try it out. I can't wait. Ooh wee! I was a busy, busy, busy little girl today. I got two videos edited, three videos filmed, trying on clothes, opening up pickles and cats. It was a busy day. Um, I also got some order shipped. I did have some people that reached out to me and wanted to purchase a few of the items that they'd seen. Um, like as I'm walking by or some of the things that I've shown in like the haul from uh, last week's video today Monday's video anyway but you can do that if you see something I'll let you know if it's available now or if I'm gonna save it for an upcoming live sale so I got those items shipped as well and so apparently we need some uh, we need some uh, good vibes in our way Emma sent me a, me a message. Apparently Colin has fallen at work and they think he's broke or fractured his ankle. So they're at media, they're at uh, urgent care. He's a mailman. So he's going to be out of work probably for a little while. So that's not good. So whatever well wishes, prayers, whatever you can send that I'm sure that they would appreciate that. I'll keep you posted. That's all I know right now. So that's a little scary. He's fine. He's just in a lot of pain. He's in a lot of pain. So I hate that. So please send some good vibes. All right. I am, I need a, I, I sold one of the things that I was going to sell in the live sale on Tuesday. So I need to pull something else. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do this bunny. I'm like, will anybody want me? I mean, I think he's pretty fabulous. 
So I think we're going to do this. Oh, I wanted to say too, I brought, I bought this from Joni and I was going to put my makeup brush. It's too little. They, they, it, they, my brushes keep falling out of it. So I, he's going to be up for sale very, very soon. I love him. I think he's fabulous. I hope we can find you a home, blue ribbon bunny, because you're pretty amazing. So we're going to put you over here. Hopefully we can find, hopefully we can find you a, a, a nice home. I'm sure, I'm certain that we can, but you never know. <laughs> I mean, I think he's pretty cool. Maybe I'm the only one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog. Um, I'm going to get this one edited tonight, and it'll be up tomorrow. Again, I'm sorry that I played my little stinker uh, April Fool's trick, but um, you know I'd miss spending time with you guys. So, you know, you guys are, you do just as much for me and my soul and my spirit as you so graciously say in your comments that I do for you. So I really do appreciate you watching. I really, really do. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm going to end the vlog and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace it is an online antique mall there's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers so go check that out the link to everything is down in the description thank you guys so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one a ball had a man put his hair in the middle red hot mama red hot mama but i have to turn my temper down Search for miles around and